The Duel Arena. For people that haven't been there recently, it's a friendly and familiar place that they may look back on with nostalgia. But things have changed. First, a little history. In 2007, many players that were buying gold from fishy websites were getting their credit cards scammed. Many moms were calling up the credit card companies demanding refunds on their scammed credit cards. Credit card companies didn't want to keep dealing with the fraud, and they noticed that every credit card that had fraud from these fishy companies were also paying for subscriptions to one other organization, Jagex. So Jagex were burdened with the task to stop real-world trade so that kids would no longer get their mom's credit card information hijacked. They did this in one fell swoop. And on January 2nd in 2008, Jagex implemented the Unbalanced Trade Removal Update. Real world trade suddenly became very difficult, only being able to give a small amount of GP to new players. In 2011, free trade came back to RuneScape, but now a different issue started to spring up. With it came a lot of gambling between players, and I mean a lot. From the Duel Arena to Dicing to Flower Poker, Almost every location in the most popular worlds had some kind of gambling host. And there was a lot of incentive to host because most casinos didn't take nearly the amount of odds as these hosts did. And even though it was against the rules, players sold billions of GP, with some even paying off their entire university tuition. Rumor has it that the most popular hosts made millions of dollars in a few short years. In 2013, hosting flower poker and dicing and any other player-run games of chance were made a bannable offense. So gambling was essentially taken out of RuneScape. Or was it? There's one exception, the Duel Arena. And with the ability to sell in-game GP for real-world currency, players will do anything to take your money from you. They will bot for days on end, scam, or just try to make you angry so you stake them again. I myself have real-world traded in the past, I've sold gold before. But I never used these means to do it, I never scammed anybody, or never hit the worlds offline. But these are the reasons why real world trade needs to be against the rules. Because a small part of the player base doesn't see this as a game, they see it as a way to make real life money. They will hit your internet connection offline while you're PKing, or they'll scam you. And Jagex needs to be able to ban the people that do these things. Well today, I'm a little fed up with the scammers that aren't getting banned. Today, I'm going to anti-scam the Duel Arena scammers. This is something I've always wanted to try to do. I know the Duel Arena rules like the back of my hand, so I'm able to quickly notice if a scammer has put rules that I don't agree with. I wasn't going to do 50-50 stakes. My method was to simply advertise any kind of generic staking type. For example, Magebox for 50 mil. It didn't really matter what I typed, as long as people saw that I had a lot of money, they were going to duel me and try to scam me. I get a duel request about once every minute. I was only here for 10 minutes by the time that this guy comes up. Even though I'm a maxed main and advertising for a mage stake, this guy obviously didn't see that because he's trying to scam me with magic on, and he has much lower stats. What? He accepted? He's so dumb. Nice. Only 15 minutes and a nice 5 mil to start off. At this point, I didn't think much of it. A cheeky 5 mil here and there, not a lot to be excited about. But there are some high rollers here, and much more money to be earned than 5 mil, if you know what to look for. This guy is attempting the old switch the combat style trick, one of the more common scams. I notice his only ranged weapon is the Dragon Throne Axe, which, if not using the special attack, has a very large attack cooldown, which means it attacks very slowly. I decline the window and very obviously go and trade my other account for some rune knives, which I know are much better than the Dragon Throne Axes. He'd already seen my inventory in the past dual screen, so I was hoping that he wouldn't check it again. I tried to camouflage my rune knives in my inventory by putting other items around them. I try to not give everything away by first putting up a somewhat smaller stake of 30 mil than what I actually want to do. If I put up my entire cash stack right away, he would probably think something's fishy. Fortunately, he puts up 150 mil, and I eagerly match him. Those are six ticks. 
I'm glad I've PK'd with them before, otherwise I wouldn't know that. These are the only knives I had in the bank, and uh, yeah, that's a free 150 mil. Appreciate it. Hell yes. Oh my, I've made so much money from scammers already. Apparently it was camouflaged. These rune knives worked out for me. I noticed there were a lot of players that were just about maxed mains, but had slightly lower stats. What they would try to do was turn movement on, and if you didn't know, there are these spots in the duel arena that if you step on them at the exact right time, you can actually get first hit on your opponent, even if you weren't chosen to get first hit within the duel. Fortunately for me, I knew about this already, and this is me practicing the method on two accounts. I practiced for about an hour before I decided it's time to go against those people that have slightly lower stats, but think they're better at doing this hit manipulation. I haven't done a single thing to this person and he's already flaming me out. The reason why? Because he wants me to get angry at him and keep staking him, even if I lose. Bro, you got 80 meters bank. City F word. We've been doing 50 mil stakes, but as it turns out, he's the one that's been getting angry. He decides he wants to up it to 187 mil. I'm very happy with my 250 mil profit, but I decide to challenge him on his raise, up to 300 mil. pretty good. Even if I wasn't getting a free hit on him, most of the time he wouldn't get one on me, meaning that very slight stat advantage worked in my favor. I didn't want to risk losing any of what I had back to this guy, so I decided to call it a day and teleport out, along with 550 mil profit from that guy alone. There's a really common scam of low levels trading you maple short bow and rune arrows, and then asking to duel you with ranged only. But a lot of people don't know that you can't use rune arrows with the maple short bow. You need at least a U short bow to fire rune arrows. So basically, there's no way to attack these people back. But I remembered a clip that was sent to Spark Mac Live of someone using their fletching cape to retrieve a crossbow and using the bronze bolts they had in their quiver to kill one of these low levels for a lot of money. For some reason, this low level didn't know about the anti-scam, so with my fletching cape and bronze bolts equipped, I tried to go into a duel for about 321 mil. This guy wants to do only 26 mil. Like, clean me, he says. Is it even worth it? Yeah, he's scamming. This guy's so dumb. Bruh. Oh. What you say? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, why did JGX do that? I mean, I was literally putting up 320 mil, so like, I'm honestly happy because he wanted to do 26 instead. So, uh, I'm ecstatic, actually, because <laughs> I would have just gotten scammed for 320 mil. Well, JGX, why are you making it easier for scammers? I don't get it. This is now day two of anti-scamming the Duel Arena scammers. Almost 700 mil profits so far. A really good start. Let's see, you got a rapier in there, buddy? I'm gonna guess a hosta. Whoa, he has nothing, okay. Well, not gonna scam that guy. So this guy's doing prayer only. Um, interesting. He's maxed, 70 prayer. But I have 99 prayer. He has 70. And I can prayer flick. Magic, special, drinks, food. Move is, oh, move is off. Okay. He has no foul issue. He has nothing else except for coins.
empty one. See ya. See what? <laughs> nice. 100 mil win from a scam. He was just gonna pull on piety the entire time. It was a little bit 50 50 until I started like getting him on his smite flicks. Wow. <laughs> so he didn't, he didn't see that coming. <laughs> Looks pretty scammy at this point. Yeah, I thought so. This guy was scamming food on. I reply by turning magic on and movement on. For some reason, he accepts. Easy five mil. <laughs> he legit was trying to fight the other people. Oh my god. Okay. Free fivey. Thank you. Next, he tries to stake me again, but this time with a plate body scam. I decide to go win as long as mage is enabled. I don't even know if I'm gonna win this, but it's only three mil. Oh. <laughs> Sit. <laughs> he took it off because I was maging him. Uh, but then I just whipped him with a one tick. Wait, he wants to go in again? What? What are you doing? <laughs> he didn't even hit me. I just got out of his max hit zone. Yeah, nice. 33s. I thought the max was 32. Um, good fight. Amulet on. Okay, let's calculate the DPS of whatever he has. He doesn't have an amulet. <laughs> You're genius. Here we go, another person that is using the movement on trick to get the first hit. See how good this guy is with a tester, 47 mil. If he's good, then I won't continue staking him. If he's bad, however, get some deflects in there. What? Okay, this guy's a freaking beast. He didn't see that coming though. I have to analyze that footage because he just did some whirly twirly sh I have no idea what he did. Okay, this guy's way too good for me. I have 147 mil, but I will not be fighting him again. I don't know how we did that. There are times where I don't mind doing a 50-50 stake as long as the person that I'm staking thinks that they have the advantage. I can only imagine the look on their face when I'm doing the exact same anti-scam as the scam they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be fun. We both have mage capes and we're gonna avenge and then switch to ancients. <laughs> Dude, this is gonna be hilarious. He doesn't know that I'm gonna do it. And he misses first hit because he was distracted by my venge or he thought you could ice barrage in a no movement stake. You can't. I'm gonna jinx it, don't I? He's gonna hit a freaking 29 on me. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Nice hit. Oh my gosh. Scammer? <laughs> Scammer, he says. Dude, we got- we cleared the scammer here. I'm gonna hope Karma gets the better of him. I know he just switched to his Lunar Spellbook. I'm not even gonna bother. He's gonna try to Ice Barrage me again and fail. Yep. Let's clear this scammer, come on. Oh! <laughs> That's it. Good fight and good riddance. That's the first, uh, scammer that I've cleaned. Feels good. I've found myself wanting to find scammers. Like, isn't that weird? It's a complete shift. Cause like, every every time I find a legit player, I'm so disappointed. Cause I, I want to find a scammer so that I can anti-scam them. Prayer scammer with boxing? Let's try my luck. Oh my god, yes! 
Booyah, baby. 177 mil. Beautiful. If I had less, if I had his same prayer level, I would have died. But yeah, there's the anti-scam for you. 99 prayer, he did not expect me to prayer flick. There seems to be a lot of these around. Another prayer scammer. Nope. Nice, another 170 mil from a scammer. I've spent about 10 hours in the last day and a half anti-scamming the Duel Arena scammers, and my loot to show for it, just about 1.7 bill. I bought the Justicer chest guard in hopes people would confuse it with an ancestral top. Uh, these plate body scammers, unfortunately, did not fall for that one. I highly recommend that nobody goes and tries to do this unless they really know what they're doing. Even I had a lot of confidence with this and I easily got scammed. Fortunately, it was only for 26 mil. In most cases, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. This is only the exception, and this is my adventure over the last 36 hours. This is not a good money maker, and if you think you're exploiting a scammer, it's probably the other way around. The Duel Arena is the last remnants of gambling in RuneScape, and is by far the worst place in the game. This wasn't even a ripple in the battle against these scammers, but it was fun to give them a taste of their own medicine.